Hello and welcome to today's shoebox floppy and today's floppy is this 3M branded high density disc. Traditionally quite a high quality make. Let's see how it performs. Now some of you asked how I make these videos. It's a good question. Uh, what I tend to do is extract the contents of these floppies on my Windows 98 machine which is just sitting there which I'll show you in a second and then I run the uh, programs using DOSBox because it's just easier to capture footage from DOSBox than if you're using a proper DOS machine. It gets a bit complicated. So, let's take a look at this. It's actually a old Dell Precision 360 made in about 2000, something like that. And it's running Windows 98. It's a pretty good gaming machine. It's got a pretty good graphics card in there and you can see the evidence from the disk I've just copied and one of the, fail, uh, one of the files failed and that was corn.zip but I know what that was so I've downloaded a replacement for it from the internet I'm sure you can guess what it is as well anyway let's dive in and see what the hell is on my floppy we're gonna have to stop meeting like this aren't we back at the DOS prompt yet again but of all the places to be this is probably the place I'd like to be the most and okay, we've got we've got our disk, and it's in the directory disk four. Uh, I've already extracted all the zip files to directories because I started filming this, this a, a while ago, and I wasn't recording. So I've put all the zip files in respective directories, and I'm going to start with space dot bass, which is a Q basic program. I need to set my path. So set path equals C. DOS bits, uh, C Windows, and QBasic is in the DOS bits directory. So if we run QBasic space.bass, we are in the QBasic program. Now, uh, let's try and work out what this program does. So we're declaring some variables up here. We've got X, Y, and D. Uh, then we're asking for, uh, what's this? A dollar equals in key dollar. Where are we getting in key dollar from? Not entirely sure. But we do have some subroutines. So let's look at the subroutines. We've got draw space. Okay, that's drawing something. It's clearly going to be drawing a star field on the screen. All right, let's run it. See what we've got. It's a slow program. We've got percentage going up in the top left. Let's see what we get. There we go. Absolutely beautiful. Look at that. Amazing. Um, how do we exit from a QBasic program? Can anyone remember? Is F5 to break or something like that? Ooh, I can't remember. Um, oh my god, this is very upsetting. Control and C isn't working. Control and break isn't working. I can't remember. How do we exit QBasic? Ah! <laughs> Okay, okay, we're back. Sorry about that. Um, I uh, restarted DOS in the end. <laughs> I couldn't remember what to do. I should really uh, look that up. Okay, so let's go through these in order. We've got zip to exe first. This isn't order at all, but I want to get this exe out of the way. Uh, this, I, I remember what this does. This changes your zip file to an executable. So rather than having to use pk on zip, you can just run the executable and it'll extract itself. Which is a lovely little utility. I remember using that for stuff. Okay, I've got a all zip here, which has got nothing in it. No, that's the directory. Okay, I need to copy uh, all.zip to here. And then pk on zip, all.zip. Retaining the directory structure. Okay, uh, that's a Windows program because it's got a DLL. So we'll move on to the next one for now. Cheat. Uh, copy cheat.zip here. PK on zip, cheat.zip, dash D. Ooh, ooh, Wolfenstein, is that Wolfenstein? What's this? What, what is this? Let's see what executables we've got. Ran, Randoom? Randoom, let's run that. Smart Doom object placement random, <laughs> I remember what this did. This used to randomly change around all the Doom levels, so that you, there was monsters in different places and stuff. Uh, uh, what directories have we got? We've got uh, Wolf. Let's go into Wolf. 
How off is this? Wolfman. Star.exe. Wolfman. Let's run Wolf Wolfman. Wolfman, save game manager. These are all utilities for Wolfenstein and Doom. Okay. Okay, okay, we'll come back to these. We'll come back to these. Uh, corn. Copy. Uh, Corn.zip to here. Uh, you remember one of the files was corrupt on the disk. This is the file which was corrupt. But. There we go. You know what this is. This is Corn Cob. This is the classic game. Corn Cob 3D. Involving World War II planes. I think it's World War II, isn't it? What are we doing here? Decompression. On the first time Corn Cob 3D was run. I love the installation for early DOS games. Everything's just so straightforward, isn't it? You run the EXE, it extracts somewhere, and everything's in a directory. We directory. haven't got any library files in, integrated with Windows, no registry. I mean, we have to set up sound cards and stuff, but it's a small price to pay. It's just so, so pure and to the bone compared to all this multi-layered operating system shenanigans, Windows and the like. And so many layers nowadays. Layers upon layers upon layers. So many layers. Oh, this is taking longer than I expected. It's decompressing the entire game, isn't it? Shall we uh, rejoin in a second? Go and grab yourself a brew. Come back in a second. Okay, we're done. We are in Corn Cob. I didn't give you much time to get a cup of tea, did I? That is the power of video editing. Tragedy strikes. Aliens attacked. The slow systematic destruction of our Earth began. Uh, it's an alternative history, isn't it? There we go. I never really spent a lot of time playing this in the 90s. I remember this screen. Uh, let's do a training mission. Yeah, let's do it. Let's fly the mission. Your objective is to destroy the flying saucer and to take out as many enemy fuel dumps and ground sites as possible. Okay, let's get involved. Your mission is 10 miles north. Hit F4 for in-flight help. Alright, um, let's uh, go. F4. You are in the cockpit of an F4U Corsair. You have a large keypad key. I haven't got a large keypad on this keyboard! Press space. Oh my god, there's so many buttons to learn in a few seconds! Let's go. All right, let's accelerate. Let's try and use some sort of. Come on, get some speed. Get some speed. We got some flicker. All right, let's try and take off. Yep. Yeah. Oh, are we up? Oh, we're gonna we're gonna stall. We're gonna die. Oh my god. Ah yes, yes. I think the most um. Experience I've had with this game is watching LGR review it. I didn't really spend a lot of time playing it. It seemed a bit simplistic. Uh, I had a 486 at the time, and this is kind of like a 286 game, so I wasn't too interested. Oh, I landed without dying. Oh, let's see if I can turn flip over on the ground. Let's, let's go towards that bomb blast over there. Alright, we get the idea. I know, I know. Come on. I want to try and. Get to these explosions. Go oh, piss off! Right, I've had enough of this. Get out. I don't care. I don't care. Let's go. Exit to DOS. Alright, okay. Corn Cop. Next we have EW. Copy. EW. Zip. Ew. PK on zip. EW dot zip. Dash D. Alright. Edit EW. Exec.txt to see what this tells us. This utility uses a feature of Windows 3.1 to exit Windows. Ah! This is for when we needed to. Well, I wanted to run DOS programs from Windows. I could just use this feature, this tool. I could write some sort of script, some batch file, and it would exit to Windows and then call it back. Super! Might try that in a second. 
and message. So msg, copy msg.zip to here. pk on zip msg.zip dash d. Okay, mouse warp. We've got another Windows application. So let's go to Windows. All right, here we are. Windows 3.11. Uh, one day I'll find something which needs Windows 95. That'll be interesting. So, what did I have? I had cheat. Uh, which ones were uh, Windows? This was a Windows one. All 3D. Run it. What does it do? All 3. Add 3D effect to controls. Okay. So, is this to add 3D effects to Windows? things. Can't see many 3D effects, I'll be honest. No. No, this is not functioning. I'm not sure if this will have much effect. Copy to the system. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Let's try again. Let's change the background colour. Let's have that. Lovely. Whoa! <laughs> I've just changed the background of this control panel. So what does this do? I don't know what it does. Alright, let's move on. Mouse warp, that's it. Okay, let's run mouse warp. Cannot find warp hook.dll. Oh my god. MSG icon, let's run that. I have crap did I put on these discs? What does that do? So this, I think this is replaces all the icons with animated icons in Windows. I believe. Alright, let's... How can we recreate some sort of Windows error? Uh, might be able to. Let's see if it works. Yay, look, we've got animation. That's a nice little feature, isn't it? All right, now that program was to it said it could go jump, go to DOS, and then come back to Windows. So if we run C, let's try running uh, the shareware version of Doom. So we should be able to run Doom, and then it should exit to DOS. Which it has done, and we're in Doom! So, there you go! That works lovely! So... Oh god, this is running slow as well. Okay, let's uh, walk around here. This is obviously running far too slow. Let's quit Doom, and it should take us straight back to Windows, all being well. And there we go, it booted us straight back into Windows. So that gets around the running DOS programs from Windows thing quite successfully. If you're too lazy to click exit Windows and then come back, you can just use that program to make some sort of PIF or batch file to run a DOS game using that command line. Lovely stuff. All right, let's go back to DOS and see if we can use these uh, Doom function programmy things. Okay, so back in DOS, let's go to disk uh, Let's go to cheat and it was called ran doom now we need to uh, This is for use in the full version of doom. All right, so uh, Okay, 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 and uh, let's so doom full doom Star dot wad. Okay, so if I type ran doom C doom full doom doom dot wad dash Oh, we need Doom 1.2, the full version of Doom 1.2. I haven't got that. Screw you. Let's go to Wolf. Let's see if this is easier. All right, let's let's copy all this to the Wolfenstein directory, and let's try running Wolf Edit. See, it isn't it isn't the same directory as uh, Wolfenstein? V swap star dot star. We've got V swap WL six. Ah, 
I wonder if I rename V swap WL6 to V swap WL1, it will work. Okay, let's copy V swap WL1 to V swap back. And then let's run Wolf Edit. Oh, yeah, it's working. Okay, so we can change the Wolfenstein uh, graphics, I believe. So I can change all the textures. <laughs> oh, yeah. Image one of. Okay, so how do we change the other images? Let's, um, let's go to the next image. How do we do that? Okay, image two. We've got all the different. All right, here's the Nazi one. Let's change this to a nice picture of somebody's eyeballs, nose. Yeah, there you go. It's Hitler. Let's draw a tash on him. There we go. That is unmistakably Hitler. Uh, will this save it automatically? I don't know. Let's go to the next image. Can we go to the next one? There's Hitler himself. All right, Hitler, let's... Um, Okay, look at that, lovely, look much better. And let's quit. Hopefully that's done something. What else other wolf stuff do we have? We have Wolf Max. Okay, that's for some sort of fixer. Wolf Man. Save Game Manager. Uh, don't worry about that, that's not that interesting, is it? What else do we have? Uh, wolf Edit, Wolf Map. Wolf Map. This program generates maps for Wolfenstein 3D Mission 1. Okay. All right. Um, it looks in the current directory for the files. Okay. <laughs> so wolf map L1 should change level 1. I think it's because I've got a newer version of Wolfenstein, everything's labelled a bit differently. So if I copy maphead.wl6 to maphead.wl1 and then run that again, generating map for level 1. So, okay, has that generated a new map, I wonder? Alright, let's try copying it back. Copy map head WL1 to map head WL6. Okay, and what was the other file we were looking at? So, V swap. Okay, so I need to copy V swap WL1 to V swap WL6. Okay, let's try Wolfenstein 3D. We should have a new level 1 and different textures on the walls if this works properly. Yep. Yep. New game. Episode 1. How tough are you? Bring it on. Okay, this will be interesting to see if this has worked in any capacity. That's the wrong way. We need some grey textures, don't we? Is this a different level to what we normally get on the first level of Wolfenstein? That is the question. It doesn't look like it's a different level to me. I can't remember the first level of Wolfenstein, though. It might be. Do we normally we get grey, though? Ah, the textures are... Okay, look, we've got different textures on... There we go. Yeah, hello. There's my graphics. If this is a different level to the first level of Wolfenstein normally, please do tell me. I can't quite place it. It looks like the standard level. I'm pretty sure it is the standard level. But at least we've got our graphics on screen, which is a nice touch. Alright, let's exit this. Okay, I found a copy of Doom 1.2, so now we should be able to run Ran Doom. Uh, random C Doom 1.2 Doom.wad slash D. Okay, so that restores WAD file objects. Uh, we don't want to restore them. We want to uh, 
know, just just do that. So we should randomize the Doom WAD file, and the WAD file is the file which holds the maps for Doom, where all the enemies are, where the walls are, everything. The entire game, in fact, is in the WAD file. It's going through the entire WAD file here and putting stuff all over the place. And Doom 1.2 was the version I had when in the 90s. It was quite quick 1.2, and after that, things started to slow down. Uh, but, you know, they applied patches and fixed things. Anyway, let's see what this is like. So, Doom. Let's go. Hello, Doom guy. So if we start Doom, then we should have a situation. Yeah, look, what's he doing there? What's he doing there? You random bastard. Things are definitely in different places. Whoa! <laughs> There's a dead body on there. There's no armor. Now this adds a bit of um, excitement to proceedings, doesn't it? A bit of variation. And because I played, what the hell is that? Because I played Doom so much. In the 90s, <laughs> you could get so much fun out of one single game. You don't have to go and buy a new game. You could just play the same game. And Doom, I would have happily played over and over. I could have used this randomizer countless times just to get different variations. What have we got here? We've got some couple of medipacks there. Why not? What's out in the... Oh, we've got a barrel. Nice. It doesn't randomize the walls, it just... <laughs> oh great, you run across some lava just to get one percentage energy point. Worth it. It doesn't randomize uh, the levels, it just... Oh, anyone here? Hey, some dead bodies, lovely. It just randomizes the enemies and the objects you're picking up. Pretty cool, isn't it? What we got there? He's facing the wall. Hello. You're there. Because once you play Doom a few times, you start to realise where the enemies are, it becomes pretty easy, doesn't it? So this allows you to play the great game once again, like it was new, pretty much. I mean, you still know where the keys are. Well, you don't, do you? Because the keys are probably moved. I wonder if the keys are moved. Let's see if we can find the red key card. Because that would, that would be an interesting twist altogether then it would truly be like playing a fresh game. Oh no, the key card is still in the same place. I suppose you can't randomise key cards because it, it, it might put them behind the door that you're trying to open. But then you'd be like, mate, what are you doing out here? And then you'd be pretty screwed. That is still in the same place. What's he doing? What are you doing up there, mate? I didn't even know there was a ledge up there. Can you get up there? If I can get up there, I, I can't I really think I've ever been up there. Oh, there's a shotgun. Have some. Um, is there a was, was there a bit you could? Uh, it, was was there a secret lift on one of these bits? That rings a bell. Maybe at this end. Uh, maybe I'm just making this up. Oh, let's go back inside. It's warmer inside cold in this Martian landscape with this non-breathable air. Well, this has got massive gaping windows, so that's not really helping either. Alright, in we go. What have we got behind here? No one. Let's run. Let's go faster than a bullet. What's down here? Oh, there's still some people. Yeah, Alright, yeah. Okay. Sorry about that. Shoot you in the back. Very cowardly. See you later. Uh, oh, it's a barrel. That's a nice twist. I like that. There we go. Oh, so there you go. So there is the Doom Randomizer. Was there anything else in on that? Cheat pack. Uh, was that the only executable? Yes, it was. There we go. I think we've been through the entire disc. Well, that was a bit of a random disc wasn't it? Some strange stuff on there. Um, join me for the next one hopefully. Until then, thanks for watching and goodbye.